हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज सुपर कैम प्लस सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू वॉट इज सुपर कैम प्लस ऐप इज एंड वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू इंस्टॉल or download on your mobile phone and after that will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching and please like share and subscribe our channel please like share our video and subscribe our channel and please press the bell icon also you can all the upcoming notifications so let us start what is super cam plus app basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone this is the app for monitoring the cctv cameras on your screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on the remote locations over the internet if we are discussing or talking about its feature and functions then by using this app you are able to view the live live view of the camera you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the pdz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc okay now we'll tell you that how you install on your mobile phone for that you should open your app store and search for super cam plus okay and on the top of the list you find that super cam plus is available here okay so so what i already installed it uh, a few minute ago so that's why it is available in in my mobile phone and if you want to install it then you should click on just get and after wait for a few few second and it will install automatically and after a few a few minute a few second you are able to open that app like just open and then open button is enable so just i just installed it previously so just i click on open now this is the interface of the app so, okay the first thing you should do you should click on the left corner top icon okay just click on this when you click on this it will ask for a login so i make a video for educational and training purpose so i don't want to waste the time too much about login you should login by yourself and after that the first thing you should do you should find the option called server list okay just click on this when you click on server list you find the option this three dot button okay just click on this and after that you find the many option like manually add scan code to add learn search generate device and short by name your device and your mobile phone and your device both are on the same network both are connected to same wifi or same network then you should click on the learn search and if you are in front of the device device means you whatever you are adding like bvr and vr whatever whatever it may be now click on this scan code to add when you do this you find that it is start scanning so basically that qr code is available on your device when you log in it so how you get the qr code for this you should log in your device means dvr and vr and go to the setting and go to the network option over the network option you should you should you should try to find the option net when you click on the net and you enable the net then you you got the qr code over there okay and if someone send you qr code then you should click on your gallery like this and you select your qr code and in this way you can change the setting okay you can add the qr code and third option basically is manually add when you click this you find the two things like serial number and the ip domain for the serial number again you should follow the same step means you should go to the your network option and then you go to the and net option and when you enable the net you find the qr code and in just just 
in the bottom of the qr code you should find a number that is called a serial number which is used here now after that if you have a local ip you want to connect by using a local ip address or you have a static ip address you should you should click on the ip domain name so i have a static ip so i just go for the ip name so here i should enter my ip address and just click on device name here you should enter anything which which you easily remember okay and now it asks for the username so you should click username and the password please note that is both username and password is of the device means device you are adding like nvr or dvr so you should use in you should use password and username of that device which you are adding so i have in my case i am using nvr so i just used to enter uh, username and password of my nvr and that's after that click save when i click save it will take a time to connect when it is connect it this turns green and the first thing you should do you should click on this play button okay this is the interface of the app okay and this way your camera comes comes live so i will tell you uh, option one by one so starting from the bottom right side the first option is three buttons three dot it is used to connect we do search the ai record like for example if you want to connect search uh, the anpr search means you, how uh, many vehicles comes in your premises if you are using a anpr camera and if you want to uh, connect using a face recognition camera then you should click on that human body and if you want to connect with a combination of both then you should click on combinations so in this way you can search the ai feature or you can search by using ai okay and after that you should here you find the add li add license plate search by events and many more and the second option is the play button which is used to check the recording of the cameras just click on this okay when you click on the recording it will take you to a recording page where you find that a uh, lot of things available like recording sections so you can select your date like this and after that you you just if you want to if you, i want to check the record at 4 am then click on the 4 and it will show you a 4 am recording like that okay if you check on the recording on 20th 22th then you should click according to that okay so in this way you can check the recording of the camera and if you here you can change the speed of the play like this so in this way you can check the recording okay and after that i will show the third option the four square button just click on that and click on the view so here you can change the view of the camera okay like this and after that the speaker button comes just click on that so basically speaker a button is used to listen the voice of the camera if your camera is audio enabled okay and the fourth option if you want to communicate with your device then you should click on the fourth option like mic button so in my device does not support the intercom so it shows the message like and after that in the middle of the screen you find that my device name is clear if you have multiple device then you should click on this and you have a multiple device over if you want to switch between the device you should click here for example and and the second option is 1 2 3 4 and 3 dot buttons okay so basically this option is used to search or select or search the camera or if you rename the camera like porsche camera and all that then you should select the camera according to that according to that okay and the fourth option is 
in this way you can and if, if you want to switch between the devices or between the camera like i select the camera zero one and i want to uh, just change the camera and i just click on the, this arrow okay it will change to next camera right so in this way you can switch the device and switch the camera also so basically this is all up about this app and the and the and after that we'll show you some serious configuration that you should know about this app what how much powerful app this is is so for this you, sh you should again click on the top left option and go to the option remote setting okay when you go on this remote setting you find all your devices just click on any devices and after that you find the option record system alarm disk network account authority and many more for example if you want to change the recording parameters just click on that and just click on the uh, event re schedule recording and here you should change the recording according to that okay and uh, if you want to uh, format the disk or check how much is available just click on the disk and click on the disk management and wait for a few minutes here you find that my disk one is 931 cap gb capacity and is read write period and here you you find that uh, it is stored the record from 1911 to 25th 11 right so in this way you check how much days your hard disk record and um, so in this way you find the every things regarding to disk okay and after that you find the option system so in this way just click on the general setting and you, in this way you can check the device status whether it is any resolution even you can change the resolutions okay and you can change the resolution like that so and again you, if you want to change the date and time then you should you should click on like that okay and you if you want to check the log means what is going on for example uh, how you who can check the playback and what is going on you can check everything like that everything from here okay that again even you can reboot your device okay and after that you find the option alarm so here you can change the alarm okay you can change alarm setting and after that you find the option network so basically network is used so you can so whether you want to add camera for example if someone install your camera and you want to add that ip you can you you can do it from here even uh, you can if you want to see the nat option like this you can check here so basically this is the qr code and so you and basically this is serial number so in this way you can check the qr code and your serial number so this come in uh, in while using uh, while making you your nvr online okay so in this way you can check how many camera for example if you want to rename the camera like edit camera like you want to check change the image parameter like uh, uh, camera ip address For example if you rename the camera if you and you 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 want to change the ip of the camera so you can do this here okay so in this way you can manage your all the thing for example you want to change the password you should do from here if you want to check the online user you you can do it from here so basically this is the way to check one thing I want to explain you also in this super cam app that how you take a screenshot of the of the camera so for this you should click single tap on a screen when you do this you find that screenshot option is enabled 
like uh, this just click on the screenshot in this way you can take the screenshot again just click on the tab and you want if you want to record the live view, view of the camera then click on the just recording and here you can see that it start recording again just click on this tab and again click it, it will stop and if you want to change one more thing if you want to change the resolution of the camera so for this you should click on the, the this i just click on this and after that just click on the super definitions when you do this your camera comes live in a very good manner like this okay so you this thing i will i want to tell you also so hope you like our video thanks for watching once again thank you have a nice day